Good evening, this is Luke Thomas, Home Push here at the Earthquake Forecast and at QuakePrediction.com. It is 9.07 in the morning on Sunday, January 16th, 2022. 9.07 in the morning, Sunday, January 16th, 2022. And uh, let's take a look at the forecast for uh, California, Japan, Greece, and Alaska. We'll start with California. <clears throat> And as you can see here, this is a very uh, nice forecast map that we put together and uh, shows clearly the highest risk is right here in the San Francisco Bay, uh, kind of centered in the Oakland, San Francisco Bay, San Francisco area, um, San Jose, Santa Rosa, this area right here in San Francisco Bay and extends down to west of Los Angeles here. But the highest risk is right in the San Francisco Bay we uh, finally got a peak in risk right there on the 18th. So the quake should happen on the 17th, 18th, or 19th. I think uh, the most likely time for the quake to occur would be late in the 16th into the 17th. That's what some other models are saying. This has been working very well, though, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I think it will happen a little earlier than that, late tonight or tomorrow. And this data is pointing toward about a 4.2. So 4.2 is pretty much guaranteed to hit the San Francisco Bay. And I'm expecting something a little bit bigger, about 5.0 or larger earthquake is likely in the San Francisco Bay, the 16th today through the 19th, most likely on January 16th today or the tomorrow <clears throat> on Monday. And uh, the risk is at 4.2 right now on this graph. 4.2 earthquake. However, I think it's going to be closer to a 5.0. So a significant uh, 4.2 is pretty much guaranteed in the San Francisco Bay, but I think it's going to be a larger 5.0 earthquake. Here's some other forecast maps. Uh, the 17th and the 18th, you can see the risk is centered uh, just south of San Francisco and near San Jose. And uh, on the 18th and the 19th, pretty much the same area right in the San Francisco Bay. So, uh, and again, this forecast map shows the San Francisco Bay as well. So the uh, energy is right there in the San Francisco Bay. And we have a peak spike in risk. Whenever we have, we have a spike in risk here, this one here produced a 5.8 off the Northwest coast. This one here was a, a 6.2 uh, in Northwest California. This one, uh, the energy was uh, shifted over to the Western part of the Pacific plate. And this 4.8 occurred in East Central California, 3.9 in Southern California on this peak. Originally reported as a 4.2, which matches the graph. And this one coming up should be about a 4.2, but I think it's gonna be a larger 5.0. We'll see what happens. Uh, but uh, definitely an earthquake forecast uh, warning here for the San Francisco Bay. And we will check back on that. Here very soon we should start should start getting some uh four shocks there's a 2.0 that hit in the fremont here in the last 24 hours 1.6 in san ramon and a 0.7 in livermore so uh we'll definitely start seeing some four shocks and then a significant quake during the next uh 24 to 48 hours there in greece you see the uh, risk is centered in north central greece and Athens is down right down here. And this is in North Central Greece. That's where the risk is right now. And here's some quakes that have been happening in that area. 5.5, 5, 4.6, and 4.0 right on this. Uh, there's like three little fingers that go out there into the Aegean Sea. And it's on the top of one of those little fingers, which is right there. So right in the 98% risk area is where these quakes have been hitting. And that's where the focus of risk is right now, the 17th through the 19th. In Alaska, the risk is uh, just north of Anchorage. Band of risk right there, uh, 16th through the 18th, 18th through the 19th. It's right here in uh, central Alaska. Japan, <clears throat> risk is, uh, has been in northern Japan and is still in northern Japan, the 17th through the 19th. Uh, centered near Aomori, right here, Akita, right here, 
uh, Murioka is right here, Sapporo is right here, and we got a uh, 4.2 just a while ago, um, southwest of Sapporo, right in this 98% risk area here. So this forecast model is working very well. The graphs, as you can see, are working very well. Uh, after 17 years of research, uh, you'd think things would be uh, going very well, <laughs> and they are. So uh, thanks so much for your support. Again, the San Francisco Bay, uh, I mean, it could be a much larger earthquake, but uh, right now the data is pointing toward a uh, 4.2. And uh, some other forecast models are pointing to a 5.0. So it's a significant earthquake in the San Francisco Bay uh, during the next 48 hours. I think it'll hit most likely tonight, the 16th into the 17th, uh, late tonight on the 16th or early on the 17th. But we will see this uh, graph here has it on the 18th. But I think uh, it's going to hit earlier than that because of the other data that I have available to me. All right, and the current uh, world earthquake uh, situation, we had that, uh, that volcanic eruption down in Vanuatu, or actually no, it was in uh, Tonga. And here's the uh, area near Tonga. And uh, that's some earthquakes around there, but that was quite the uh, eruption I believe it was right in this area here, north of this uh, main island of Tonga there. So uh, that was quite the eruption. And they had a tsunami with that as well. I think that was uh, it occurred in a small tsunami in San Francisco after that occurred in Tonga. All right, thank you so much for your support, everybody. Looking for a significant earthquake in the San Francisco Bay during the next uh, 48 hours or so. And uh, after that hits, we'll probably make a video either late tonight or tomorrow. And we'll keep you updated on that. It, um, you never know when one of those uh, spikes in risk, uh, like the one that hit in East Central California, was supposed to be a smaller quake. And it was a much larger quake. It was a 4.8. So right now, the risk is at a 4.2 in the San Francisco Bay. But uh, I think it's going to be. Uh, at least a 5.0 somewhere in the San Francisco Bay, most likely near Oakland. Thanks again for your support. 187,000 followers on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, and 17 years of research. Thank you. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Really appreciate that. And uh, please let your friends and family know about the earthquake in San Francisco Bay. We'll talk to you soon.